Hello everyone, so as many of you probably don't know about this, uh, since I bought this um, new 2021 R1250 GS Adventure, I've been having a little bit of issue with the height. I find that the bike is just a little bit tall for me. And what I did recently was I was recommended by my friend at BMW, um, Morwad, the one in Oakville, uh, for this uh, Wonderlich uh, seat height adjustment set. It's basically, uh, if you go on the Wonderlich website, I'll also put the link in the description below uh, where you will find uh, this Wonderlich. It's basically called the seat lowering um, kit. And it's, it's simple, two bushes, they are about 45 uh, US dollars, about 65 Canadian dollars. And, and they reduce the seat height by about 10 millimeters. Now 10 millimeters, if you look at it, it's probably about 0.4 inches. Not much when you think about it, but makes a huge lot of difference uh, when you're lo looking at you know the seat height adjustment. So let's go ahead and install these on the motorcycle. What comes in the box are these two uh, rubber bushings and that's all that you need to, to be honest with you, replace them. This is how they look for anyone uh, you know who is interested to see how they look. They have a little bit of shaving on the top and that's what may, uh, you know lowers it. So I'll just open up the seat here and then replace it. Move the seat off here but just make sure you have if you have the heated seat you need to make sure that you don't pull off the cable or you can gently just keep it here and i'll show you where the rubber bushing is so these are the bushing here and as you can see this is how big they look that's how big it is and this is the one i have received uh from Wonderlit. So this versus this. You get a, a bit of comparison to how this will look when installed versus you know the OEM ones. So let's go ahead and install it. To install it all you need to do is pull the OEM one out which is like this. You just pull it out and just push the Wonderlich one in. And that's about it, yep. So this side looks like this, if you wanna see it. And this is the OEM one. So if I put it next to the OEM one, so the OEM one was this high, and this is how low it is. So it's about 0.4 inches, like I said, 10 millimeters. Let's go ahead and install on the other side. All right, so this is the other side. This is again the OEM one here. Once I install the Wonderlich one, it will supposed to be probably, you know, closer to like this. So that's how my seat height will be for anyone who wants to see. All right, let's pull this one out. The Wonderlich one goes in here. Push it all the way in, and it's all set. There you go, guys. That's how it looks. For anyone wanting to see how these look, this is exactly how they look. Simple. It's a five minute installation, and Wonderlich even has a diagram. So, you know, they've given it that this is how it's supposed to look and these are the OEM ones. So OEM ones are, you know, grooved all the way around. The Wonderlich ones are slightly half shaped. So original here, the low ones here. Pretty good. That's how they look. Not a bad choice. Let's go ahead and install the seat and sit on it and see how it looks. All right, so this is with the Wonderlich uh, seat lowering kit installed and uh, my feet down feels a little bit lower and I'm also uh, more sort of pushing towards the tank so I might be looking into changing that but overall uh, uh, does feel like it makes a difference 
Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on any future upcoming videos. Till next time, ride safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.